What is up you guys, this is RJ and we're back with episode 3 of my Terraria Let's Play and uh, we're going to do something a little bit different at the very beginning of this video. I just wanted to show you all a couple things that I find very interesting that kind of helps out the play of the game, um, especially when you get later on in the game because it can potentially ruin all the fun for you if you do it like this, but uh, you know, this is just something really, really interesting that I think y'all might find interesting as well, so I decided to show it to y'all as kind of like a intro to this video and uh if you may have noticed the last video i was down there in that hole down there because i was mining and uh i turn i saved and exited so uh <clears throat> when you turn the game back on you actually start at your spawn point and my spawn point is not in my house right now because i wasn't able to find a decent cave system down there to get some cobwebs from to make silk to make a bed so yeah, um, <laughs> I actually spawned a little bit over that way, not too far, and I just ran right over here real quick and uh, started the video in the house. So I just wanted to catch all up on what happened. I didn't dig any more down that way, and I'm actually probably not going to go any further down that way because there is just nothing really there of interest to me at this point in time. But uh, what I was going to show you all starting off is this wonderful mod for Terraria called Temod API. And uh, what it is, uh, I will show you right now, is this you have four control panels by activating you activate them by using F1, F2, F3 or F4 as you can see by these different views right here and um, F1 you can change your health, your mana, your breath, your uh, even you can alter your looks, you can uh, add accessory effects and stuff and all this good stuff you can even add buffs that come from potions and other things like the werewolf buff and all that stuff so uh, um, right here I'm actually oh, never mind. Um, you can change it from dawn to noon to dust and midnight and you can automatically start all of these events from the world as you will see I'm not going to be using any of this for this let's play because that just ruins the fun and I just wanted to show this to y'all and I'm going to put a download link in the description so you can use it if you do find this interesting I mean if you were just a builder this is a very 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 useful mod so uh yeah um just for that strict fact I wanted to put this out there and uh F3 you can automatically add any weapon or anything like that like <clears throat> here's the boomerangs and tools and accessories weapons um, and you return to the main screen just by pressing R so uh, it took me a second to kind of find that out but like we could go ahead and get a bed right here if we wanted to but you know I'm not gonna be cheap and do that and um, the final screen is just F4 and I kinda haven't figured out what this is I think this is like uh, actually I have no idea I think it may be like another inventory you can just kinda like upload an inventory and you don't have to it's kinda like carrying around a bunch of stuff with you maybe I'm, I'm not sure about that I haven't messed with this very much but uh yeah that's that and also this kmod runs off of what is called temod api I'm, and i will show you that right here this is the uh... this is just the interface for the mod and kmod's right there and it's automatically activated and then there's a world edit which is what I'll show you here in a minute and um, this is for texture packs and I have one texture pack called the HD pack on it right now I'm not going to show you because I haven't actually figured out to how to undo the texture pack so if I did that we would be stuck in that texture pack for the rest of the episode and that's it's, it's just not the greatest looking thing so uh, you just mash escape to get out of all that and what the world edit is what I will have pop up right now and this is actually my other world this is my main world that I have my main character on as you can see from my castle right there just to prove it and uh, I just wanted to show you all this because it is an amazing amazing program and you can use it to view your entire terraria world so if you start off and you can't find your way into that good little cave like see this this entrance right here leads straight down to a very large cave system so you know if you're just wanting to uh, Build, be a builder but you don't want to have to take the time to go through and find all the ores like if you want to mine all the ores yourself but want to you know actually physically find them yourself this is a great thing to use and uh, it also kind of shows you where them floating islands are and that's a little sky bridge I have right there <laughs> don't panic for that but uh, I was messing around trying to kill some wyverns but um anyway uh, you know there's the dungeon that's what the dungeon looks like and it all looks kind of funny I mean it, it's kind of cool just to see 
what a Terraria world looks like from, you know, the full view. And, you know, at the very least, it's worth downloading just to do that. But, um, anyway, that is what T-Edit is. I'll have the link for the download in this, for this, in the description as well. And, um, now we will get started with the Let's Play. And, uh... <clears throat> I have not used either of those for this, but I'm no longer going to be going down over there because I'm, I just don't feel like going and mining straight down. So we're going to go see if we can't find another cave. And I went to the right a little ways, and it didn't look as promising as this way the first episode. So uh, I believe we'll head off through here. See if we can't find something. It's a little more interesting. At least we'll be killing some bad guys on the way. Maybe we'll find some surface ores, which are always good. And, uh, you know, we'll just go from there. Um, it may take a little while to get back, but we'll deal with it. No no, no big deal. No big deal. Die, bunny. Bunny. Get slaughtered. Oh, I think I'm going to arch that one. Come here, you wooden bow. Yeah, that was sweet. And, um... All we have is a bunch of freaking throwing knives and dirt blocks and doody doo like that. Uh, oh. There we go. And uh, oh wait, I forgot to mention I dug up that the reason I'm not going back over there is because I was making this episode uh, directly after the other one and I forgot to mash the record button and I realized it after like two minutes in. And I dug for like two minutes, so I found a few throwing knives, and that's where my throwing knives came from. Because you may notice that my inventory bar at the top, and we're getting some great potions. Um, the inventory bar at the top had a little few, a few different items in there. And where, why is all these just like surface caves? Why do they not go down? This is pissing me off. Another iron skin potion. That's awesome. That'll come in handy and not too long, because once we get a decent armor, we're gonna challenge the boss of the. The boss Eye of Cthulhu. Okay, this actually looks kind of decent. I'm hoping this may be a stinking cave, and we're gonna go ahead and get these cobwebs in case it isn't, because I need to make a bed <laughs> really, really badly. And uh, yeah, I'm just got my got my fingers crossed right now that this is a freaking cave. Oh, woo! With that, yes, yeah, some iron out there. That was a weird sound. Woo! woo, woo, woo yeah, yeah. Um. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. There we go. And cobwebs are rather annoying. Like, they're just, they kind of grab onto you and stuff, as you can see. And they slow your movement. So if you're trying to make a quick escape, better hope you don't run into any of them because you have to keep your sword a swinging. Um, and it doesn't look like anything else is this way. I bet this is actually a decent cave system right here. So. We're definitely going to go down instead of keep going forward that way. But um, I'm going to grab this copper right here and this iron right here before we go down in there. Because of obvious reasons, I need it. I need it badly. Yellow Warrior needs all badly. If anyone's played Gauntlet, I love that game. Me and my friends used to play that like all the time when we were younger. And we loved the, the Yellow Warrior needs food badly. I don't know, we just always said that. It was kind of one of our inside jokes or something, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, but, um, oh yeah, um, Happy New Year's, everyone. Today is January 2nd, so I'm a little bit late on the uptake, but, uh, I hope everybody had some fun, you know, didn't drink too much, I know I did, <laughs> which is, uh, why I didn't do anything yesterday, I just kind of laid around. I actually went to go see Miss Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol last night, and, uh, it was actually a really good movie, I thought it was pretty good, I heard mixed reviews on it, Rotten Tomatoes, I know, gave a really good score to it and they tend to be kind of picky with their scores in my opinion like uh they gave the green green lantern an awful score and i actually thought it was a pretty decent movie but um <laughs> yeah they definitely are very, pretty picky with their scores but uh now we definitely have enough iron for an anvil i'm not sure if i want to keep going down or run back to the house real quick or what oh, i don't know what to do don't know what to do I know I'm going to kill this blue sign, though. Oh, wow, there's a big perp. Big perp. What up? What up, big perp? You about to get slaughtered. Why? Pull out that AK, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Eat you some. Oh, shit. Don't get... Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Yes. And, uh, there's several different types of slimes, as you'll see. A uh, few more types, as we get later on into the game, will be shown. And, uh, some of them are... 
Wait, there's even a boss called the King Slime. He's pretty cool. I like the King Slime. But, uh, he drops, uh, ninja outfits, so... Uh, if you kill him three times, if you're lucky enough, you'll get all three pieces to the ninja outfit because he only drops one piece of the outfit at a time. And he's actually a really rare spawn. He only spawns on like the like the outer thirds of the map, if that makes any sense. And uh, whoops, I didn't mean to put that torch there. I meant to put that there. But uh, he actually spawns on the outer thirds of the map, and uh, so he won't spawn around wherever your spawn is. You have to be like a certain distance away from your spawn to get him to spawn. So. <laughs> kind of confusing, but, <clears throat> yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty cool, he's a big old slime, and as you hit him, he drops a little blue slime, so, by the time you get done with him, you'll have a couple stacks of gel, <laughs> for sure, he drops a lot, and I mean a lot, you, uh oh, okay, there, okay, I'm not gonna make that, um, let's go ahead and stick that there, I'll need a stepping stone, because you can't jump as high out of water as you can from land, obviously, makes sense. But, uh, we're gonna see if we can't snipe this bird off with a throwing knife. Oh. Okay, a little bit closer. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> a little bit of fails, but, you know, like these. At least you can pick them up most of the time. So, I'm not worried about it. I'll pick them up. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> that was a nice little throw after seven tries. Anyway, little ADD moment there. But, uh, yeah, I'm running back to the crib right now to, uh, craft an anvil so I can get some type of armor on me. Because, uh, if I'm going to go down in the cave, I want to have a little bit of protection, a little bit of armor. Because, uh, every little bit counts. And I'm going to get that day bloom right there because they're really important for making potions. And where the crap is my, there it is, okay. God, I was further away from that thing as I, than I thought I was, but uh, we're finally here, and we can finally make some goodies. And I'm getting a little bit of frame rate lag for some odd reason. Not sure why, because I have a fairly decent laptop. I do say so myself. And uh shouldn't be doing that. Um, make some iron bars. Nine. Finally make an anvil. Thank the heavens. I don't need that. I need to do a little bit of uh, getting rid of some stuff right here real quick. I don't need the seeds quite yet because I don't have a farm to use them. Um, I could sell that, so I'm going to wait for that one. Um, there's nothing else I really want to sell. Okay, I don't need the blink root right now. I can get more of that. And I really don't need the candy cane, candy cane blocks. Although I think that's the all of the blocks I'll get. I don't know if they drop. I don't guess they drop presents anymore since it's January 2nd. So, oh well, we'll have some green blocks anyway. But uh, we can finally throw down an anvil and make some copper armor because I've got a fairly decent amount of copper armor. Um, let's see. We have we need 15, 25. We have 39. So I can make I can make a helmet and. I can make greaves, I guess. Yeah. So we'll do that. We got some we got some greaves and since we have the goggles and the social slot and the helmet and the other one we can still steer still see our beautiful Super Saiyan hair. And um that's pretty much all I want to make right now. So uh wait, 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 wait. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We will take that. We will take that. And, uh, also, I have enough coins, so if I just go ahead and, um, make my house one story bigger, I will be able to get the merchant, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, that'll be pretty awesome, and now I can, then I can start selling some of this crap, which is... What I need to be doing. Where is my wood? Is that all the wood that I have? Oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay. God, I'm blind. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, crap! You jump. You got them ups. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That green song got some ups on him. Oh, that was a fail. Actually, it's not that fail, because then I can just do that. Yeah. What up? And... Over. Oh crap. There. 
Okay, cool. And I'll drop back down so I can chop this little ugly obtrusion off. <clears throat> and I'll finish making this real quick. And real quick, <laughs> finish making this real quick, and we will go back to that cave, go down a little ways, and then I'll end the video. I don't want to stop it quite yet. I'm not quite sure how long it's been. Again, I forgot to do a freaking timer. I just realized because I'm a genius. I'm gonna use some of this. Make some stone wall. I think we used about 128 maybe last time. A few more to be safe. Okay, and uh, we'll throw this chest down just to get it out of our inventory so we can uh, put some stuff in it anyway. Um, torch. Torch. Table and chair. Okay. Table and chair. And make sure when you put your chair down, it faces whatever way you're facing. Facing that way, it'd be pointed in that direction. That would be kind of annoying because then if you're any OCD like me, you will want to uh, change that out. So, yeah, a little pro tip for you right there. And uh, we've almost got our house built. And we can make our way back to that cave. And hopefully find some goodies. I'm looking, I want a chest. I want a gold chest. Now that we have a little bit more armor, so uh, maybe able to defend ourselves from some baddies. Uh, fill in all the blanks. Barney the Merchant, baby. Oh, yes. Where are you at, Barney? Where are you at, son? Oh, come here. Your beautiful face. Your beautiful, wrinkled, bearded face. Oh, my goodness. I don't, I'm, I'm ecstatic. We're making progress, guys. Making progress. Um, let's go ahead and sell some stuff to him real quick to get it out of our inventory. And too bad I don't have enough of that. We don't need this. We don't need this. Hmm. We don't need the sh wait. Precise shackle. What is this one? Just a shackle? Wow, I almost threw away the good shackle. There we go. And I don't need that. Um. Um. Okay, I guess that looks pretty good right now. Um, we'll take, we'll keep that because I want all my ores and stuff. Um, do a little bit of organization, real quick, like, and then we'll make our way further. Okay, there we go. That's pretty decent looking. If I, that's pretty decent looking. If I do say so myself. Sorry if I faded out a little bit there, kind of change my position foot was going to sleep but uh yep now the merchant is here and uh wait i need to assign him the house i think he actually is in it okay yeah he's in it so we're good we're gone we're getting out of here ah oh, that house is ugly it's so much my other house in my other world so much better which you can kind of see my castle from the little t-edit section of this video but uh hopefully we can get back there in a decent t time for my video because that would be great. That would be wonderful. And, uh, God, I hope that soap act doesn't pass. <laughs> that would suck. I'm sure I'll incite some rage upon that comment because soap sucks. Soap suck off penises all the time. Or always. Suck off penises always. That's what soap stands for. <sighs> Y'all suck off penises always. But, um,. But a but a but a but a but a but a. Oh crap! You piece of shiznit. Die. There we go. Wasting an arrow. Don't care. We'll get more. Oh crap! There's a big perp. I think I'm just gonna leave him alone. I don't really want to fuck with him right now. I just want to keep going and get back to that cave while I can. I got a decent amount of gel, so at least enough to make it through what I got to. And I'm being I'm being needing some mo torches. I be needing some. I don't know why I'm getting a little bit of lag right now. My computer's just being retarded. But, uh, you like that throw and catch right there? I was just playing catch for myself, board, you know what I'm saying. But, um, almost back there. Uh, what is this? Yeah, this is the entrance. Oops, what am I doing? Uh, okay, <clears throat> there we go. There we go, there we go. We're back to the cave. Gonna get some goodies. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay. Yes, this looks like a freaking decent... Oh, look at that! A chest already. Awesome, awesome, possum. Loot all. 
because I'm not going to have it do that dumb thing I could, did. That's an aglet, uh, spiked aglet, plus two damage. That's always good, always good. We got some, uh, we got some grenades. We got some grenades. That's cool. I uh, got another swiftness potion. Um, we got some more bottles. A gold coin. We have a gold coin now. That's freaking sweet. Okay. And we'll just take that with us while we can. Um, so th that's pretty... Oh my gosh! Another one and another aglet. We'll go ahead and loot all that again. Okay, so 2% uh, damage or 2% melee speed? I don't know. I think I'll go for melee speed since I got some damage on... Uh, on what was it? Oh, wow. That iron sword sucks. Wow, I didn't even know it was like that. Maybe that's why it seems like it's lagging, because this iron sword sucks wee wee. <laughs> Sluggish iron sword, that sucks. Too bad we won't get the goblin tinkerer to like... What the hell? What the hell? No, no, no! These dudes are good, these dudes are good. They're not any normal freaking enemy. They actually have some help to them. Oh god, okay. Whew. That was freaking random. Okay, um... That's shitty. Uh, don't know what to do. I think we'll just try to dig like over here or something where there's no sand, I guess. Because, I mean, this has to lead to something. I guess that's just a bad sand spawn. I did notice that there's a little bit of desert to the left of me. So, let's just hope we can get around this. And more than like a camp, but... I'd rather spend some time digging here than back at that other hole we were in. At least we found two chests of somewhat decent value. <laughs> we have got a little bit accomplished this episode, so I'm not too disappointed. Not too disappointed at all. But, uh, oh, yes! It opened... Oh! Oh, crap! Okay, I thought I was going to fall to my death. That was kind of scary. But we got some freaking water now, which isn't good, actually. Do I have a glow stick? No, I don't. Crap. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just keep going down. I don't really know what else to do. Come on, world. You gotta be nice to me. There's gotta be something around here. I mean... We just now got to the underground level, as you can see by the change in the uh, walls. Okay, here's the opening, here's the opening. Keep your fingers crossed. And it's freaking tiny. Oh my gosh, why does this thing hate me so much? Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me? Okay, come on, come on. Okay, maybe if we fall through right here, I'll end the video, and that leaves a little bit of suspense for the next episode. But, uh... I need a torch. Lose invisibility. There's some copper right there. Um... I'd rather just keep going down. I'd rather just keep going down. Don't care, I'll go back and get it. It's right there, visible by my torch. My torch is marking the spot, so... I'll remember where it's at. Uh, watch me next video and walk right by it. Y'all really dang, you walk right by it. Okay, there's some iron and stuff. And, okay, this looks like a great spot to end the video. Thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, we will continue on this little excavation spree with the next episode. If you're enjoying this, please leave a like rating. And if you're not, please at least leave some feedback as to why you do not. So, uh, this is RJ signing out, you guys. And peace.